Growing up, I used to always really look up to Uncle Mac. I grew up in the city. Uh, he lives in the country in Alabama. I had a passion for the outdoors. He had a farm. He went hunting. He traveled the world to fish. All these things that I just thought were so cool. I just naturally gravitated towards you know anything that Mac did. Fly fishing was one of those things that I took to. From a young age, you know, I, I started fishing with Mac and I knew that he fly fished. You know, I always thought of fly fishing as, you know, something you did for trout up in mountain streams. Or hearing his stories about going down to Florida to fly fish for tarpon, super intriguing to me. And obviously, Mac fly fished, I, I wanted to do it. Anything that Mac did, I wanted to do. You know, when I was about 10 or 11 years old, he, he gave me my first fly rod. And you know, Mac really had a passion for teaching. If you were willing to put in the time to learn, he was willing to, to teach you how to do something. And so he gave me a fly rod with the intention of really teaching me how to do it. You know, I just learned so much about life and work and fishing and everything. I really wanted to be good. I wanted to be like Mac. As a kid, I used to go up and, and visit Uncle Mac for a week or two. And it's really funny, out of all the big saltwater species that Mac likes to chase on a fly, he loved catching brim on the fly. I grew up in the city and I uh, didn't really know hard work. You know, the first time I did it, I thought I was just going up to hang out with Uncle Mac. Nope. He put me right to work. We'd work from sun up to sundown, and you'd think as a young kid who's done nothing but household chores that you know, it'd be miserable to jump in and work in the hot Alabama sun. And no, I just, I loved every minute of it. Um, he kind of instilled that drive in me to, to work hard. And the best part about it is that he always put a reward at the end. He had this pond that was just loaded with brim and bass. You know, that's all I could think about for those three or four days of, of working was just getting to fish that, that pond at the end. After, you know, we earned the, the opportunity to go fish, we'd go and we'd just catch brim after brim and bass after bass. I just started to develop that you know, work ethic in me to, to be able to work hard so that you can do the things that you're passionate about. I was probably 14 years old when uh, Mac took me tarpon fishing for the first time. Uh, since I grew up in Florida, I knew what tarpon were. I had never caught one before. Uh, I had always wanted to. Um, and so when I went with Mac, even though I had started fly fishing a few years before, I was like, you know what, let me just catch one on a spinning rod, I'll get my first one under my belt, and then I'll try and target one on a fly. And so, you know, first day we go out fishing, Mac was on the front of the boat with a fly rod, I was on the back with a spinning rod. We weren't there 30 minutes, and this tarpon just swims down the bar. And Mac casts to this fish, it just comes up and just, boom, garbages the fly. And I just watch Mac get hooked up to this tarpon and jump jump this tarpon on a fly rod. And I'm just, you know, 14 years old, first time I'd ever seen this, like eyes this big around, like watching this from a bird's eye view from the polling platform. And it was the most incredible thing I'd ever seen in my life. Had the spinner rod in my hand and I just put it down. I was like, nope, 
I don't want to catch one on a spinner rod. I want to catch one on a fly rod. We fished for for four days and just I had missed shots. Is he tight? What? See where the fish were. Couldn't read where the fish were going. Ah! Um, and so I just, you know, had all these opportunities and I, I wasn't able to make it happen. You know, I wanted one so bad. Like, I don't know that I'd ever wanted anything that bad in my life than to catch a tarpon on a fly. On the fifth day, we go out and there's this high and happy fish just cruising down the bar. And I go up and I make the perfect cast. Strip, strip, strip. And I just watch this tarpon come up and just dump truck my fly. And I just... Ah! Trout set and pulled the fly right out of the tarpon's mouth. And Max like, no, don't raise your rod. And and I just start bawling my eyes out. You know, it was something that I had worked so hard for five days and I wanted so bad. And I just finally did everything right. And then just pull the fly right out of the tarpon's mouth. I remember Mac, you know, looked down at me from the pulling platform. And he's like, Tommy, 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 people come here for so many years and they spend so much money and never feed a fish. And you just did it. Mac was just this tough love kind of guy. He did not give out compliments. So to hear him say something like that, after something that was so devastating to me, like that's, that's what got me hooked on tarpon fishing, right there. Nice. Don't jump, jump, jump. Yeah. yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> If you ever tarpon fish, you know that there's a ton of pieces of the puzzle that go into actually being a good tarpon angler. Every year I went with them, I put another piece of the puzzle together. Finally, when everything had happened on my part where I was able to do it is when, when I lost them. That's the hardest part of you know, when Mac finally ended up losing his battle with cancer is like, like, n no, now I can fish with you. <laughs> you know, now I can, you know, it, it, that was a part that seemed so unfair. It was like all these things that he had worked since I was a kid had finally come together to where, you know, we, we would have had a, a lot of great years of fishing together. After Mac passed away, uh, we, we had an ash spreading ceremony at the last place that we got to fish together. Uh, it was a really special day. You know, now I get to go back and fish the same spot. And, you know, it, it still feels like I'm fishing with Mac. You know, I know that he's there and like, he's watching. About the same time, met this really great group of guys that like to, to fly fish, and I started, you know, getting clicked in with them, and I got to share, you know, the, the fly fishing for tarpon with them. You know, now I get to go back, fish on his boat, the boat that I grew up fishing on with him, and you know, to still get to stand in the same places that we stood together, uh, you know, it still feels like I get to fish with them. You know, when you tarpon fish, something that has such a narrow season and something that, you know, you really don't get a lot of opportunities at. Really put into perspective the sacrifice that Mac had to make. Every shot at a tarpon is so precious. You know, like, that's the thing. It only takes one fish to make your trip. Having to sit there and watch them do the same thing that I did to Mac, of botched casts, and when you watch these fish go by the boat that you could have caught, like, there's nothing more frustrating really put into perspective the sacrifice that Mac had to make to develop me. I am who I am because of him, and I'm able to do the things that I love to do because of him. And so I'm forever grateful for that.